So, the solution then to number 8, part A. So what we have is that A1 equals K and any term in the sequence is 3 times the previous term plus 5. So for part A we've got to figure out what uh, the second term is in terms of K, A2 in other words. So to get A2 what I'm doing is setting the value of n equal to 1. So a1 plus 1 is the second term in the sequence a2. And it equals 3 times a1 plus 5. But we know that a1 is k, so therefore a2 will be 3 times k plus 5. Alright? Okay, so that is the second term in the sequence. For part B, we've got to show that A3, the third term in the sequence, is 9k plus 20. Well, we already have the second term, so to get the third term, I need to go back to the formula up here and substitute n is 3, sorry, n is 2, I mean, n is 2, so that we get A2 plus 1, A3. So A3 will equal three lots of A2 plus 5. But we know that A2 from above, part A, is 3k plus 5. So therefore that's going to equal three lots of 3k plus 5. And then add the remaining 5 on the end. And what does this come to? Well we can expand the bracket and we get 3 times 3k is 9k and three fives are 15, and then you have the five on the end, making a final total of 9k plus 20. So third term in the sequence, A3 then, is 9k plus 20. Now for part C, okay, the first part of part C, we've got to find the sum of the first four terms which is given using this notation, sigma as it's pronounced, sigma, sigma, the sum of the first four terms, AR, are going from 1 to 4. So what this is short for, okay, I always believe you should write out what uh, these things are representing. And so this is saying we need to put r is 1 into here and that means that we would get a1 sigma means to sum so that's plus then r would be equal to 2 so that would be a2 and we repeat this for r equaling 3 so that's 3 all the way up to 4 so that's plus the fourth term in the sequence okay now we've got the results we have that A1, the first term, was K, as you can see up there, so that's K, plus A2, and A2 was 3K plus 5, so that's 3K plus 5. Then plus A3, so A3 was 9K plus 20, so that's plus 9K plus 20, plus now we need the fourth term and the fourth term okay would be when we set n equal to 3 in this so that would be a4 would equal 3 lots of a3 plus 5 so that would be 3 lots of a3 so that was 9k plus 20 and then plus 5 so this part here is a4 Let's expand that and group up at the same time. So I've got three nines are 27, 27k. I've also got another 3k here, that's 30k. Another k here, so that's 40, sorry, 31k. And the 9k, 40k. So that's giving me 40k. And then 5 and 20, that's 25. 3 times 20 is 60, so that's 60, 70, 85, plus another 5 is 90. So I've got 
40k plus 90. Alright, moving on then to part 2 of C. Show that the summation that we've just done is divisible by 10. Okay, so we have that the summation r going from 1 to 4 of ar is equal to 40k plus 90. Now if it's divisible by 10, that means that 10 ought to be a factor of these two terms. Well, I can factorise this by noting that 10 does go into 40k plus 90 by pulling a 10 out. So I have 10 times 4k would give 40k and 10 times 9 would give 90. So basically since 10 is a factor okay then um, what can we say then this summation is divisible by 10. Then let's just put that in then R going from 1 to 4 of AR is divisible by 10. And there you have it. Okay, divisible by 10.